Given the sequence a sub n equals n squared minus 3n plus 1, we're asked to determine the following terms, a sub 1 through a sub 5. To determine a sub 1, we substitute 1 for n, and therefore a sub 1 is equal to the square of 1 minus 3 times 1 plus 1, which is equal to 1 minus 3 plus 1, which is equal to negative 1. To find a sub two, we substitute two for n. a sub two is equal to the square of two minus three times two plus one, which is equal to four minus six plus one, which is equal to negative one. To find a sub three, we substitute three for n. a sub three is equal to the square of three minus three times three plus one, which is equal to nine minus nine plus one, which is equal to one. To find a sub four, we substitute four for n. a sub four is equal to the square of four minus three times four plus one, which is equal to 16 minus 12 plus one, which is equal to five. To determine a sub five, we substitute five for n. a sub five is equal to the square of five minus three times five plus one, which is 25 minus 15 plus one, which is equal to 11. The sequence given by a sub n is negative one comma negative one comma one comma five comma 11 comma and so on. Next we're asked to find a closed formula for the sequence starting with a sub one and the sequence is three, 10, 21, 36, 55 and so on. One approach is to see how the terms are increasing. Notice three plus seven is equal to 10. 10 plus 11 is equal to 21. 21 plus 15 is equal to 36. And 36 plus 19 is equal to 55. But this time, this doesn't really help us. None of the common sequences below increase in the same way. Another approach is to see if the sum or differences of any of the two common sequences resemble the given sequence. So if we take a look at the sequence of products given by a sub n equals n times the quantity n plus one, as well as the square numbers given by a sub n equals n squared, notice two plus one is three, six plus four is 10, 12 plus nine is 21, 20 plus 16 is 36, and 30 plus 25 is 55. And therefore, this sequence is the sum of the sequences given by a sub n equals n times the quantity n plus one and a sub n equals n squared. And therefore, the closed formula is n times the quantity n plus one plus n squared. If we want to, we can go ahead and simplify this by distributing and combining like terms. Distributing n, we have n squared plus n, and then we still have plus n squared which is equal to two n squared plus n. If we wanted to, we could also factor this by factoring out the greatest common factor of n. This is equal to n times the quantity two n plus one. I hope you found this helpful.